what's going on guys welcome back to channel episode 20 of the going for hyrox series the series which i document about my training company called hyrox nissan birmingham hopefully you can hear me right i've got the new thing on the microphone that seems to be picking up every little movement and bit of wind may need to change off may need to redo this whole clip who knows but body's feeling good today saturday ran a 15k pb unintentionally and body's feeling good today and i'm gonna mix things up this week today's bank holiday i said i go in the gym i'm gonna start off with the intervals because we've got things moved around this week tuesday i've got football in the evening so i don't want to do intervals on basically two interval sessions in one day wednesday owen's got a haircut and to be honest i just can't be bothered lifting to start the week i've just gone off it which is a, a surprise can't bother with starting with squats and having a a poor start of the week so i thought i'd mix things up do the intervals and see how that affects everything else so i think, I think lifting this week is going to be i think i'm still going to squat tomorrow but it's going to be like combined lower and upper and then run wednesday rest or run thursday high rock session friday and then run again saturday yeah i think that's the that's the plan that would be the plan for the next six weeks so yeah, let's crack on. And Odin's back on his lead because he was a naughty boy and ran off after the dog across the field. And he's in a bit of a huff. So we'll get him home, have breakfast, and then get on with some training. I'm not sure if this is TMI, but I've had a bit of a eureka moment with the, the chafing issues recently is that whenever I wear my tights or my other sort of specific running shorts um, I've stopped wearing any underwear, pretty much running commando and that seems to have solved the issue so instead of running with three layers on I'm running with two layers and it's just stopped the chafing even with the extra chamois cream so that's that's good in it so if you're struggling with chafing maybe try that go go commando but make sure obviously everything's not too loose if, if, if you get me we're at the track session today is 12 800 meter intervals with a minute 15 between goal is the same as the previous two interval sessions in that each interval should be between five to seven seconds of each other like time wise don't know how it's going then and the pace should be the same as last week's 600s so that was what a four four or seven four four ten so 800s you're looking at what around three minutes maybe i don't know okay, i was watching the olympics and they were finishing their 1500 meter times in the time it takes me to an 800 which was around three minutes so anything around that ballpark maybe try and get a few so with three minutes who knows we shall see i've not done this session for about four or five weeks so it's almost like a, a retest of the interval session so fingers crossed it all goes well that session has gone to show that I need to work on my recovery I thought having a day off yesterday and having the run today rather than doing legs and then running tomorrow they'd be a lot fresher so I'd be better but literally after the first three intervals everything just felt heavy legs felt heavy and I pretty much sure was I put the times on screen now average was I don't know it was between 3.20 and 3.30 they just got slower each time I think the first five with 3.20 322 and then just dropped off and just kept getting around that 330 mark i have no idea where i pulled that three minute estimation from i should just stop estimating how fast i'll do it and just wait till afterwards to see how fast i run but carried on got all 12 done but yeah recovery needs work into my mobility work and i know i'm not beating myself up too much because i know fatigue masks fitness so obviously if i was to to taper and go for a run fresh or say after a deload it would be much better so i can't beat myself up too much there it still felt relatively strong again it's the fastest i've been running in a long time averaging what for 20 kilometer pace so that is again i never would have thought i'd be, be holding that pace for a kilometer this time last year so huge improvement there but right now I'm off to Kelly's, I'm gonna snack on some squashies on the way, get those carbs in, and then we are gonna head out to lunch. Haven't decided where yet, whether to go into town or go to Lark Lane, which is nearby. 
I mean, the weather's not looking too good right now, so hopefully Lark Lane's quiet and we can get somewhere there for brunch, slash lunch. I'm actually quite glad that I switched training around this week because the weather today is absolutely awful and I just would not like doing the intervals in this rain. Body's feeling surprisingly good today, thought it would feel much worse because yesterday after food we didn't do much. Burgers were very nice. Not sure if I was showing the clip earlier or I'll put it over now, it wasn't the best clip. But again, I, I always joke and say it's a gift and a curse, but after even that lunch yesterday, I still needed an extra 2,000 calories to hit my numbers for the day after yesterday's run. So I ended on, I think, just shy of 4,000, just above 4,000 calories, which is a lot of food. I always just want the calories to be that high, but having to eat that much food is almost a chore. But it is what it is. Off now for a full body session. I'm going to start with squats and bench and then maybe some conditioning. Part of me really can't be bothered doing squats. A, because I just I'm, I feel weak at them at the minute. Secondly, someone out there has got themselves a free SPD belt. Belt still not turned up. It's nowhere to be seen in the house. It's not at the gym. So if you're out there, I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit broken, anyway, but it's just very frustrating. That I've I've lost it. But I'm going to squat now. Just I'm not even sure what to do. Maybe one heavy set and some back offs or just go go light and go for three sets base off RPA bench try and get the same numbers as last week and then the accessory work I'm not sure to do a little conditioning piece or there's meant to be like a a row and ski 2k retest I just can't bother doing so I might either into all those 250 each for a couple of rounds or just save them for next week or later in the week when I feel like I can actually be bothered because I'm also playing football tonight so I want to save a bit of energy for that so yeah let's get to pure Germain get this session done if you can't tell I'm just not really feeling this session but let's get in get moving and hopefully I can liven up a little bit yeah so I'm not feeling lively at all I can't feel absolutely nothing and lo and behold I can't feel it too strong to warm up, but you need to worry about how I feel. It's expected to also have the belt. Although the core is feeling strong, because I've been training that alongside everything else for a change. But the legs just haven't got it in me, so going for 125, but aim for 5 reps. I believe that's 200 kilos off from last week. If it's not, it doesn't matter because it feels heavy enough for today. So I'm going to aim for 5 reps and then probably knock off 20% for a couple of back up sets of 5. And then we go to the bench. But first, let's see if we can get this for five reps. Yeah, they felt no one knows this was last week, but could have done for five with the best ever set, but it's still fast. So drop it down by 20%, get those two sets done. Yeah, so one of five was definitely not for those back off sets. Boy, just not feeling great today. Bench isn't going any better. I'm actually getting out the wrist wraps for this top set, or these top sets, hopefully. But to be honest, I'll be lucky if I even get anything above five reps. I've actually forgotten which hands these are, is it the right one? But yeah, body's just not feeling today, so I might even caught after this, or I'll just go straight into the bodybuilding, the accessory work, and just skip the condition all together. But let's see how this first set moves on. Go from there, really. It's 
sometimes that's not being at all for yatch, but that's it actually make this trip to the gym worthwhile. It's one set of ten done, can rest two, two and a half minutes and then go again set two, hopefully get a ten reps, which will be two and a half weeks so at least some progress. At least I can leave this session knowing I've actually done something. That set definitely redeemed this session. Two sets at 82.5 for 10 reps. No, 87.5, sorry, for 10 reps. Got it down to 72.5 now for one arm rep set. And then I think I will just go into some extra bodybuilding work for some, I don't know, maybe some kettlebell gorilla rows, core work, and then obviously arms, because I kind of got into the condition. I'll save that for football later. Yeah, I mean that session was okay. It's, to be honest, I feel like I'm in a bit of a a funk today. Maybe it's the the weather on my recovery isn't what it should be. I think it's definitely to be worked on. I went to do a stretch before and I just couldn't move. Do you sit with your your legs wide and sit forwards? I just couldn't move my hamstrings with that tight. So there's something that needs to be work on my mobility, my recovery. I need to start getting eight hours of sleep. I only get about seven at best at the minute. I was getting better, I was lying there awake. It's just annoying. I think I've trained myself into the habit of going to bed, having a scroll. So when I get to bed, my mind's just awake, which isn't a good thing. I need to retrain my brain to be like, bed is sleepy time. Anyway, home now. Session is what it is, at least I went and got something done. But now I'm just gonna have a little snack. I've basically got Breakfast, protein, oats with a banana, some maple syrup, gonna have that. Football is in two hours. The rain has just started. Don't know if you guys can see that. It's coming down, not too heavy, but again, hopefully it's not on. Oh, that just went completely dark, so probably cut that bit out. But yeah, hopefully that goes well. And then tomorrow, depending on how I feel, I may run or rest. And then if I rest, I'll run Thursday, train Friday, and then probably might be worth giving myself the weekend off, depending on how the body feels. I think it just needs a good couple of days just to rest and relax. Maybe go for a, a float that I got KMI for our anniversary, go to Float Planet. We'll see. And anyway, eat this while it's still warm, chill for a bit, and then get to football. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Also, if anyone, if anyone has watched this far through, all the way through, let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer just lifting days or do you prefer when I kind of go over one to two days of the running and lifting? Let me know in the comments below. Ciao.